main OFC leaders, Oromia Federalist Congress leaders appeared in a court yesterday. Jawar Muhammad Bekle Gerba Hamza Burana appeared in Ethiopian High Court yesterday. During their court appearance, they talked about several important things. They talked about Tigray as well. Could there be a political alignment between TPLF and OFC? Could there be military cooperation between OLA and TDF? When uh, Jawar Muhammad, Bekle Garba and Hamza Burana appeared in Ethiopian High Court yesterday, they observed silence firstly for the killing of Emmanuel Wondimo. Emmanuel Wondimo was killed a couple of weeks ago in Dambi Dolo, Oromia views. He was a 17-year-old Oromia youth and he was killed in broad daylight in town square in Dambitol. He was tied to a post in the town square and he was killed. It was extrajudicial killing viewers and then we saw pictures of his mother being mistreated by Ethiopian security officials. Some relatives who came to the house of uh, Emmanuel Vandimo, they were also arrested by Ethiopian Romia security officials viewers. Uh, Emmanuel Wondimo has become a sort of symbol of Romia resistance against uh, Ethiopian government views. I did a video on that when he was killed in Dambitolo. So, Jawar Muhammad, Bakle Garbam Zaburana, they observed silence for the killing of Emmanuel Wondimo as a protest. Secondly, viewers, they showed their distrust of uh, judicial system of Ethiopia. They said that this system cannot deliver. Ethiopian executive authorities are much more powerful and courts are helpless. They were referring to Colonel Gamma Chuvers who was released a few days ago. I did a video on that. But the moment Colonel Gamma Chu stepped uh, outside uh, Kaliti prison of Addis Ababa, he was again arrested. He was released by the orders of an Ethiopian court viewers. But the moment he stepped out of Kaliti prison, he was again arrested by Ethiopian federal police. Since then, his whereabouts have been unclear viewers. That is why the three leaders said that the courts could not deliver and they called uh, for uh, postponement uh, in their court appearances. They said the court should delay their appearances for years. They do not want to appear in court uh, and the court should not uh, hear their cases uh, at all. So their yesterday's appearance was a complete distrust of uh, Ethiopian judicial system. And thirdly, uh, they announced to go on hunger strike to show solidarity with Tigrayans. When Jawar Muhammad Bakle Garba was arrested, we did not see a TPLF uh, protesting for the release. When Tigray war started on November 4, we did see some, some voices uh, from these, uh, from some Romia sections condemning that war. But overall, uh, coordination between ethnic groups to take on Ethiopian government has been missing, I think. And now it seems that uh, Romia leaders, TPLF leaders, they are starting to realize that they should try to uh, form a joint front to take on a Ahmed led Ethiopian government. Can they do it? 
TPLF leaders on the run, OFC leaders behind the bars, it's difficult views. But at least they can send such messages to their followers that Romos and Tigrayan, they should join hands. Same is the case with uh, coordination between Tigray Defense Forces and Romo Liberation Army. OLA has limited capabilities. TDF are fighting a multi-pronged war. They are fighting on several fronts. There are logistical issues as well. So, uh, no likelihood of any active cooperation, military cooperation between OLA and TDF. But I think in future, TDF and OLA, TPLF and OFC, they'll have to formulate a joint strategy to take on Ethiopian Abiy Ahmed-led government. The announcement by Hamza Burana, Bekle Garba and Jawar Muhammad to go on hunger strike in order to show solidarity with Tigrayans is a very positive step viewers. Ethiopia needs this type of uh, relations between ethnic groups, friendly, cordial relations between ethnic groups is what Ethiopia needs. Maybe Tigray war and imprisonment of Romian leaders could lead Ethiopia to a better future. Maybe uh, it could be a time for them to realize their past mistakes and they might uh, form a joint strategy in coming months to take on Ethiopian government. Lastly, viewers, I have an update from Sudan-Ethiopia border. Yesterday, some Egyptian news sources claimed that fighting, heavy fighting was underway on Sudan-Ethiopia border in Basinda locality. Basinda is in Fashaga al-Sogara, smaller Fashaga, on Sudan side of Sudan-Ethiopia border. But uh, the news story was incorrect. It was not based on facts. No fighting took place in Basinda. Sudanese military officials uh, have also rejected the reports of fighting on Sudan-Ethiopia border. Tensions are there, but there is no heavy fighting going on in the border viewers. I think for watching.